Uh, what's it like knowing that this is your last year with Warehouse 13? You know, I'm in complete denial. Oh. Uh, I, um, I, you know, th this is going to be hard for me. The um, this panel will be hard because um, I, I want to take it, an opportunity to thank everybody, to thank Jack, to thank Mark Stern, to thank the fans, to thank my castmates, to thank my family who, um, you know, let me go to Toronto for nine months at a time. And, um, you know, it's I'm trying to be upbeat about it. You know. Um, but it's hard. It's five years of my life. My boys, my boys were babies, babies when I started this. And then, and then you really built up a great working relationship with most of us as well. And I mean, you know, Saw has become my my sensei. You know, Joanne is my is my you know my friend and my my long lost sister and. Uh, and Aaron, I mean, it just goes on and on. Jack is, you know, Uncle Jack to me, and, and uh, you know, it's. I mean, everybody has the best intentions, you know. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna stay in touch, and, and but you know, you get busy, and then you don't. It's just thank God, truly. I mean, for Facebook, and I never thought I'd say that, but uh, I think that helps a lot. You know, Facebook and Twitter to to, to to just stay in contact with the people that. that do you think you want to dive into something else right away, or just yeah. kind of keep the press? Yeah, my accountant says I need to dive. In. <laughs> says I need to redive. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I think I'm scared. There's some trepidation, you know. It is the life of a, an actor, after all, which is like peaks and valleys. I mean, you know, it took me 15 years to get uh, Warehouse 13, and uh, I had done 10 pilots. They, it was once written of me, Eddie McClintock has done more pilots than a stewardess. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, but at least it was, yeah. at least it was clever. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so there's like, you know, I'm like huddled in the corner and with my wife, and you know, I'm going, what if, what if it takes me 15 years and I can't provide for my family? And, uh, so, uh, but uh, I'm hoping for the best, and, and, I, and, I, and I hope to think, I like to think that I've made some fans out there that'll, that'll follow me to my next show or whatever I decide to do. So what can you, what can you look forward to seeing from Pete specifically in that six episodes? Uh, as, as usual, Jack has continued to write Pete um, as this, this funny man-child, and, and, and he continues to be brave and honorable and loving and, and um, silly and um, all the things that, like, I think I kind of, well, with all the things that I'd like to be, you know, like, uh, you know, um, you know, some things I guess I have more of than others, because that, after all, Pete is me, and I am him, um, but, um, you know, the show, you know, we kind of squeeze 13 episodes of stuff, kind of in the six episodes, so you'll get a lot of, uh, a lot of great stuff. Um, one episode, we get trapped in a, I don't know if they told you, we get trapped in a um, telenovela. Mm -hmm. So I play Armando. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had him make me this big giant mustache. Oh, no. <laughs> and I have a crushed velvet vest, but, I, but I'm speaking Spanish. I mean, I, I, I have, like, I've been taking Spanish lessons every day, and, and uh, that should be really fun. Um, we, we go to a uh, Ren fair, and I think I'm with I'm with uh, Steve, uh, with Jinx the whole time, Darren, and I, I just love that, that guy, and so we're going to have fun, and um, it just... On it goes, and, and uh, the the last episode. Did I say this? I, I, I told Jack, "Are you going to blow us up?" Did I say that? <laughs> oh, I, I said uh, to Jack, "I go, so what's going to happen? Are you going to blow us up? Are you going to kill us all? What's going?" He's like, "Yeah, we've done. We've killed everything. Yeah. We've blown everything up." And he told me how we're ending the show, and I just, I mean, I, if you have a sentimental bone in your body, and you. 
are truly a fan of the show, and even if you're not, uh, it's going to be very emotional. It's, uh, it's really well done and just spot on for what I think the way that we should go out. And what's been the most unexpected aspect of your character, like throughout the years? <laughs> the most unexpected? <laughs> yeah, of his journey. I guess, you know, it's just nice to see how earnest and what a great place he comes from. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Jack said to me, I want Pete to be the coolest straight guy I've never met. <laughs> you know, that episode where he's like, dude, here it is. <laughs> you know, anytime you want to look, come on over. But, you know, and there wasn't any weirdness about it. It just should. And I guess the, the fact that Pete comes from such a pure place mm -hmm. and an honest place mm -hmm. and just this childlike mm -hmm. place is, is uh, I mean, that's Peter Pan. That's mm -hmm. why people love Peter Pan. I think that's why people like Pete.